Newt Gingrich earlier this morning made a speech um, which he said was a very important speech of the campaign, if not the most important speech of the campaign. And hopefully we're going to have a little soundbite of that. Um, Brody, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Great. Um, to, to get, set, the, set the scene. Newt Gingrich um, doing his town hall. Why did he call this? Well, uh, geez, I hope that wasn't the most important speech of his campaign uh, because it was, it was fairly bland. Um, he spent most of his time attacking Barack Obama and drawing contrasts with the president and talking about how he would debate him in a general election. Uh, he didn't spend much time on Romney other than to say that, that uh, essentially that Romney is a moderate and that Gingrich is a conservative. Okay, hold on there, um, Brody. We want to hear from uh, New Gingrich himself. And the sound is a little bit iffy, but let's listen to it. I think this is the most important election in our lifetime. And I don't think it's just important because we need to somehow beat Barack Obama, although that's very, very important. You have bureaucracies that are out of control, judges who think they can be dictators. You have systems around this country. You have laws that don't work. So we've got to change not just Obama. We have to change the entire direction of the United States of America to get it back on track. And that is our obligation to be young. Okay, uh, that's a new Gingrich at his town hill all this morning in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Um, basically, with no, no small goal there, reform the entire system of politics in Washington, Brody. That seemed to be what he was saying there. He says it's, it's, a, it's a mess, it needs fixing, um, not just Obama. Um, bold, right? Well, uh, sure, it, it's bold, but I think that's sort of what most of the candidates are saying. Um, you know, it, people are expecting uh, Gingrich to come down here to South Carolina and really go on the attack, go on the warpath uh, against uh, Romney. Now that it looks like Romney is, is slowly consolidating his lead here, uh, you know, the next two weeks are going to be the, the most important uh, days of this election, and I thought that his, his, his speech was uh, you know, attacking Obama is always a good thing for Republicans, but he really laid off of uh, of Romney. And and that that is interesting, and maybe maybe that that's because of uh, what went what went on a few days ago, the the, the back and forth there, and he just doesn't want to go there again. What surprises me is that um, he's he's well known as being an extremely smart man, uh, New Gingrich, um, very well regarded intellectually, um, and he's really not doing that well. H how do you think he plays in South Carolina? Can he get that mojo back that he needs? I mean, the the, the, the showing in New Hampshire was just yeah, it was yeah. Yeah, he has a couple things going for him. Uh, one is that uh, he's from Georgia. Uh, his family spent a lot of time here in South Carolina. He had a lot of personal connections. Uh, he spoke about a couple of churches around here where he uh, used to go with his family. He also, uh, you know, he sort of he speaks Southern. Uh, he, he knows uh, the culture and the politics here. Uh, and of course, a huge advantage is also the money that's going to now come from his super PAC, mm. which he doesn't control. But uh, you know, five million dollars in ads that'll be spent here, uh, taking dead aim at uh, Mitt Romney for not being conservative enough. We'll see how that plays. 